All right, it looks like you can see my screen, that's great. So for those of you who might be new to Zendesk, we are in Explore. So you'll go to, you'll log in, you'll go to your product tray and you'll go directly to Explore. And within Explore, you're gonna find that out of the box intelligent triage dashboard, which we're gonna click on right now. All right, everyone, this is super exciting. So uh, once you enable intelligent triage, um, I guess it's good to take a step back. So you have access to this, but once you enable your intelligent triage and have it automatically labeling your tickets with these AI predictions, depending on the size of your organization and how many tickets you get, um, so if you're a very large organization, you get lots of tickets, it really should only take a couple days for you to start seeing uh, data in here. Uh, but if you're a smaller organization that have maybe not as many tickets, maybe give it like a week or two um, to start seeing some impactful data um, on this dashboard. But overall, you have access to this and we encourage you to just start familiarizing yourself with it and getting comfortable with it. So. When you go into the Intelligent Triage dashboard, uh, it's gonna bring you to the Overview tab. That's what it defaults to. And it defaults to the last 30 days, but certainly you have access to really filtering on what matters most to you and what you're looking to see. Uh, you can also filter by brand, ticket channel, ticket group, ticket form, lots of ways to slice and dice this data. What I love too is that you're getting all these incredible insights, right? So how many of your tickets have been enriched by these intelligent triage predictions? You'll also see the impact to your operations. Now, this will not show you any data unless you plug it into your workflows. So we will show you how to plug it into your workflows in the next couple examples, so get excited. But um, once you plug these predictions in your workflows, you can start seeing the impact that it's making on your operations. Um, again, this is the overview tab, but you can do that by intent, language, and sentiment. And we'll go through that in a minute. Scrolling down, um, you'll get to see the top five intents, top five languages, and average ticket sentiment here. You can also see the tickets that have been enriched with intent, language, and sentiment, and those who have not been in, um, uh, like labeled with intent. And Typically what that shows is maybe you're not using a channel that you could be leveraging. So uh, giving you lots of insights of opportunities of where you can plug in these AI predictions and start gathering this insight. I'm gonna show you one of the dashboards here where you drill down it in one, into one of the AI predictions. So uh, let's looking at specifically intent here, again, we can filter by a lot of different ways. Um, but what I wanna highlight here is the ability to just see um, ticket volume distribution by intent category, uh, intent trends. Uh, and what I love specifically here is seeing intent breakdown across key metrics. So I can see those top intents that are coming in, um, how many tickets that it's related to. I can see the impact to the workflows, lots of ways to slice and dice this. I'm gonna call out this warranty one here. So if we're gonna take a, an example, um, maybe I, I'm, I'm opening this for the first time and I realize, wow, we're getting a lot of tickets around what is our warranty policy? And I know that I have a help center article around this. 